We Bear Bears is a cartoon that I don't normally talk about on this channel, and that's because I don't think this show is amazing. It's nowhere near bad, but most of the episodes don't really stand out to me compared to some other cartoons nowadays. That being said, there are some amazing episodes, and that's what I'll be going over today. My fifth favorite episode is The Fair. The baby bears become prizes for a carnival game in hopes of being won and taken to a new home. So this episode is relaxing to watch. It doesn't have too many serious things going on, like yeah, you have the baby bears trying to get adopted, but there's all that normal stuff about how they really want to find a new home, and I do like how they actually try that in this episode. The environment of a fair is really cool to see, especially when people are trying to win the bears as actual prizes. To be completely honest, I don't normally enjoy the Baby Bear episodes as much, but this one was one of my favorites. Number 4 is Burrito. Grizz cannot bring himself to eat the masterpiece of a bear-sized burrito, so he brings it with him everywhere. Now if you base the entire episode on the plot and nothing else, then you'd probably think, well this is a stupid premise, I mean why would he just carry around a burrito everywhere? And yeah, that's what I thought too, like while watching the episode I was very confused, and the end scene gave us some amazing character development for Grizz. We Bear Bears doesn't normally step into the feels territory, but I feel like in this situation it was used very well. It's okay, little guy. Grab on. You're safe now. Because it's a show about just normal bears living their everyday lives, you don't really expect to see these heartwarming backstories, and I think a lot of people are really interested in this one. My third favorite Wee Bear Bears episode is The Demon. When Chloe and Ice Bear lose her prize hoodie to the dog next door, they set out on a mission to retrieve it. If you like the Sandlot movie, then you would love this episode. The entire storyline is basically the Sandlot Wee Bear Bears edition, because Chloe and Ice Bear have to get something back from a mysterious creature, which we find out is a dog. Dog, but they call it a demon in the episode. I really liked seeing the strategies that Chloe and Ice Bear used to try to get the hoodie back. There's also a lot of character development with the dog's dad. I'm not going to spoil exactly what happens just in case you haven't seen it, but this is definitely one of my favorite Wee Bear Bears episodes. Number two is Yori and the Bear. While living alone in the Arctic, baby Ice Bear meets a mysterious man who helps him survive the frigid environment. When I first decided to watch this episode, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. At first, it seems like a normal baby Ice Bear episode. But as it went on, it turns out to be a backstory of Ice Bear and why he acts the way he does. He interacts with this mysterious man named Yuri and he tries to find out his past. The relationship between Yuri and Ice Bear definitely shows off in modern episodes and it's really cool to see this backstory. Similar to Burrito, it's another heartwarming episode. These sorts of episodes happen every once in a while in Wee Bear Bears, but I feel like that's when the show is at its best. I know there was no sign of Grizz and Panda and that was like the first time that has ever happened in the show, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this was an amazing amazing story with a lot of good character development for Ice Bear. It was also cool to see how he got his axe. And my favorite Wee Bear Bears episode of all time is Icy Nights. Now right away you might be thinking, ugh Vale, really, another Ice Bear episode? Well honestly, I think the best episodes include Ice Bear as a major role. If I have to describe Icy Nights in one word, it would be aesthetic. Like seriously, this episode has an amazing style. The synopsis is that Ice Bear's custom vacuum mobile gets stolen by a gang of techies, and he must navigate the city's underground world in order to retrieve it. Ice Bear is at his best in this episode, and again, there isn't much we see of Grizz and Panda, but we really don't need that because this episode is all about Ice Bear and how he deals with the city at night. So much stuff happens in Icy Nights, I'm surprised they managed to fit it in 11 minutes. And if I have to go back and rewatch any Wee Bear Bears episode, it would be this one because it's just like a master piece. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.